Welcome back to the channel of the only person who predicted market movements correctly in the last five weeks. The only person who consistently communicated 61k scenario, positive finding on a drop, 61k income. Now that's already during the drop. 25th of September, after market dump to 61k and then surge to new all-time high. 28th of September, prepare for 61k. 26th of September, heading down to 61k. No one told you that. Everyone, everyone was bullish. They were screaming October. They were bullish. They were bullish. 61K right now would be very healthy for the market in, gener in generational longs entry. 25th of September. 61K seems like a bottom. 28th of September. No one was telling you about 61K. I was, I was even telling you, careful entry now. With the market going to 61K short term, it will correct. September 25th, a week ago, no one told you that. All these people, they were wrong. They are watching my channel. They're checking out my Twitter. You're not checking out my Twitter, but they do actually check out my Twitter. And based on my Twitter, they essentially start to make their own predictions. Because some of them, two days before the drop, they started to say, oh yeah, we're going to, six, to 61K, deliverage and things like that. I am consistent. One week ago, I told you for five weeks straight, I'm right with BTC market predictions. And I will tell you today what will be happening moving further because you're not getting it on any other channel. Everyone else is constantly wrong. What and I will provide you with the list of five. Low cap, Solana, better place. And I think we'll be doing quite well moving further into risk on environment for the current crypto cycle. Like this video, subscribe if you won't like to miss this type of content. Moving further, the tokens that I mentioned on Friday went up like crazy. And let's start. First off, we have a very, very interesting situation on the BTC chart currently as well. We tapped 64K and we get rejected from it. However, it's not a very, very large rejection at this stage. And we kind of have some things that are happening in the marketplace that might actually push us further. And as mentioned in my videos on last week, 64K is the level where you can go risk on. You can just long anything. This is highly likely the final reversal of the market. And we are going higher from there. And currently people are saying that, oh, we're going lower. Some people are saying that we should actually go and re revisit 52K. But interesting thing that I think you should do, you should ask them to show their shorts. You're saying 52K, show your shorts. I doubt that they will do it. I doubt that they actually have shorts. A proper confirmation for us to move up is $64,000. But I do expect that once we would be reaching this level, prices for most of us will be already high. So we kind of have to take the risks currently. And if you have some stable coins currently inject into the market partially at these levels as well. I do think it's nice area because this scenario is quite fine. Like and your like worst case scenario, we are going down through 57.2. But well, this is the cancellation of the bull market. So you should not be counting on this. Like you should not be counting on this because people that were counting on this through the whole year, through the last two years, thus far, they're not at a very, very good spot there. Right. What's interesting is that the timings of this thing. I was talking to you. We will be rewatching this video again. I was talking to you and I was giving you 8th of October as the date to actually the markets to turn back up. The, the BTC, the, the crypto specifically. It's crazy to, to see like how well this thing actually works. So if we would essentially increase our range, right? 210 days, we can say that the period where traders actually outperform investors should end up on 8th of October. It's quite interesting because it, it would be two weeks after the first interest rate cuts on the marketplace. I would say that during this time, we should get higher in our range, right? Like closer to the breakout in terms of our range. I'm quite confident that, that short term, we should be seeing the 61K BTC. Here. I don't think we're going lower. I don't think that nothing is happening with the marketplace. I actually do think that we should be seeing all time high one more time for Bitcoin this month. I think that monthly candle for October should actually be a huge imbalance on the chart, on the monthly chart of BTC. Yeah. Please, if you are a crypto influencer and you would be screaming about Bitcoin all time high this month, use this phrase. We will see Bitcoin new all time high this month. I said it after Stan said it. If not, you'll be a bitch. And after that, they announced a movie about the founder of BTC on 8th of October as well. And the way I came up with this date was purely time based analysis on the chart of performance of traders and investors. We will go through this video 100%. So 
Remind say correction to 63k, but in general, midterm, I expect for us to go up and I expect us one more time to reach new all time high for Bitcoin this month. I'm the only person, the first person who actually told this to you. Funding, what's interesting is funding kind of shows us and kind of tells us that we should actually be going higher because it's either slightly negative or it's close and so it's not it's not like positive long-in funding at this stage right which is a very very interesting situation i would say out there and i would say that ethereum definitely has more upside than btc right now just because of the fact that it's down heavily like it's it, it does not look it does not feel very very nicely at this stage so ethereum i do believe will be showing numbers moving further going back into the tokens that i mentioned on friday pega which is pepe and maga essentially the 3x i believe i was sharing a 200k market cap well it's very very low market caps right so we're speaking about these things the reason i mentioned these things currently is because as mentioned currently we're still in the risk of environment people are putting the, the money large sums of money into largest place they're following influencers that they're comfortable following currently but this is wrong they will eventually serve as exit liquidity or heavily underperform what you have to do is to position yourself in low cap stuff betting on certain matters that will be appearing occurring on the marketplace right one of them is obviously the politify meta which is heavily neglected i was screaming about it for the whole last week what do we see currently guys tramp is up it's almost 3x from the bottoms right what is happening with trump as well and i was sharing all of this in our private discord actually trump up 2.5x from the bottoms as well this is just the start look at this chart this is just the start election is less than 30 days away from us this thing that you can see currently is the closest thing to free money in this market setup currently at this stage and one more thing i wanted to share as well we exactly cut the bottom on BTC in the private Discord. Essentially, the call to loan BTC from 60.4K was given in our private Discord. The guy is currently 14K in profits at this stage. Coming back to our meme coin situation currently. So, Politify is something I do believe will be just tracking. And this is a very, very interesting thing because it will be like a short term kind of narrative. But me understanding that we are seeing a new all time high for BTC this month. I do understand that despite the fact that everyone understands that well, probably they will have to dump at a certain point of time and maybe I should not buy it at all if I would have to dump. This is like exit pump on this narrative and it will be happening 100%. It's just so many media pieces will be focused on BTC and I would expect certain portion of retail to come. Not like default retail to come this month, but certain portion of retail to come. And Politify might actually just be the meta that will eventually onboard them. Just by me talking about this thing in the last five minutes, it did 1% on stock market. You have to wait for 1% for 20 years. This happened here in the last five minutes, right? Next thing I was sharing is Book of Trump. Not this one, this one. Book of Donald Trump. So this is a very, very low cap, but you kind of can appreciate the charts because they all have the same charts. And if you saw the chart of Trump token, which is the largest one, it's all the same in the last short price action. They are essentially forming up a cup and handle. They're forming this cup. They're facing resistance here from this resistance here. They're usually going to print the candle somewhere around the large liquidity levels and they, they're surging up. Then they are recurring. You, you can see it on the chart of Sui. All of the coins out there will repeat these patterns. And the, your goal is to actually buy here, buy the bottoms. And I can show you. I can show you the coin that I shared with you on Friday that actually was at the bottoms. Because I've seen the same chart printing. Can you see it? Right here. I shared it right here. Exactly at the bottoms. Exactly the same pattern. Exactly. Exactly the same thing will be happening. The earlier you buy, closer to the bottom, the larger amount of access you will have. And some people are saying currently at this stage, oh, probably only selected coins will go up, nothing else will go up. Guys, everything will go up. Some things, of course, they will outperform, right? But everything will go up. People need some sources to pack the liquidity in. They just need it. Everything will go up. Obviously, some of the shitties, they might be dying out over time, 
but shit is that I gave you on Friday. They kind of have certain history of trading, right? So I would expect from them to at least not rock, which is kind of a very, very nice thing in the current marketplace, because if the thing won't rock, there is a high chance it will survive. And if it will actually survive, there is a high chance it will multiply and you will be able to capitalize on it moving further as well. One of the picks I gave out as well is also PZ, which is Ethereum meme token. Yeah, I think it was, it, it happened somewhere here. So it showed like maybe two, three X. The narrative behind this thing is that it's like an internet name of Pepe out there, right? It's actually live from March, which is quite interesting, right? It was pumping up and currently it's at this level. So we'll see what will be happening with this one. I do like the narrative. I do like the things that are happening with uh, this coin. Last but not least, the thing with the craziest narrative, in my in my opinion, out of them all. First frog of Mad Fury, beer frog, before even Hoppy, right? Hoppy is at like, what, 80, 70 million dollars at this stage? We do have Apu, which is also like 150, 160. And this thing is at 500k at this stage. It actually did, yeah, I think it pumped the most from the video. So it did like probably five to, or like th three axes or something, right? Three to four axes. I would expect the continuation. You can kind of see it's the same chart. Boys, it's the same chart. The only thing is this thing already, already faced a resistance. It's already at the handle part of the whole thing, right? It should continue to reverse sooner than other coins because it faced this resistance. People who are buying here, they sold at this level, they exited, and they will just see this thing to surge up higher from here. Because Ethereum is heavily undervalued, Ethereum should be moving further from here. And narratives for these things that I shared, they're not that bad as well. I do understand that as you see on these coins, as you check these coins out, you understand that narratives are quite great as well. So moving further into Soul Peak that I actually told you that I would share. Well, this market cap of this thing is a bit larger. It's at 900k, but it's also the same chart. Just look at this thing. It's just the same chart on the marketplace. It's crazy. And we are at the bottom of the handle at this stage, or we are very, very, very close to the bottom of the handle at this stage, right? So this is alpha. The reason I'm showing that is because we have Giga pumping, we have uh, Sigma pumping, which is the better blade to Giga, and we have alpha. Alpha is kind of like in the same in the same row, right? And the thing I wanted to say is that yesterday I actually said that I don't understand how this thing will be moving higher. And just like that, it shows 35% movement from here. To sum up, because you might say, wow, Stan, maybe you were wrong. Maybe I should be buying into this thing. Obviously, it's not a financial recommendation. I'm just doing the things that I'm doing myself and sharing my opinion on this channel. Popcat, SPX, Giga, when it goes significantly higher short term, profits from them will be used in other meme matters. BTC, ECA, Politify. In fact, whales are already selling and repositioning. Great spell was casted to use VCs as exit liquidity. Digens have money now. Let me explain this. I want to mention, I don't want to talk anything negative about Murad. I actually quite like the guy. I think that he's doing a very, very good job in our space on attracting liquidity into the space and sharing the thesis. I do think that meme coin thesis is still heavily undervalued and Murad is probably essentially the second guy after Crash who was able to attract this amount of liquidity into meme coin space, right? Before that, it was not happening, but he's, he's kind of explaining it in a way to make it understandable for the VCs because he has certain story of working with them, right? So what I think is happening currently with Giga, because his peaks there, they seem to go up currently. SPX, Giga, Apple started to surge up like Selfie as well. And don't get me wrong, like for quite some time, they will probably uh, continue to surge up. Giga looks toppy to me, at the same time, maybe I will wake up tomorrow and it will show another 30% on a daily, right? To me, it looks toppy. Why? I would explain you why. Based on the market structure only. We are still in risk of environment, which means that people are pussies. People are scared currently. When people are scared, they are looking to have some anchors in order to buy certain assets, right? And this is exactly what happened with Murad and with essentially his list of assets. First of all, he doxed himself on the conference. Well, I think he, he was dogs before, but uh, it's easier for people to see a real face behind the person on Twitter, right? He made this very nice presentation on talking to 2049, uh, right? And people with money definitely saw him talking about the, and they definitely understood the, th the thesis. So they, they essentially started to invest the money into this thing. And Digens as well, as we're still in the risk of environment that they don't know what to do, right? they also started to invest into this thing as well. I do think that it still connects with the short-term hype of the influencer. And over time, this thing 
should be topping and should be correcting as well. Whether or not they will be able to push it further, personally, I don't like the narrative of this thing much. I don't understand, to be honest, why it went up, right? Maybe this is the actual reason why it will continue to go up. But I also see that this thing is heavily bundled. And whilst you are, whilst some of you that are not watching, that are not watching this channel regularly, whilst some of you are actually buying Giga, right? Certain people that are holding Giga already, they're selling it and they're buying into the better place. They're buying into Sigma, they're buying into Alpha. And currently you might say, but, but Stan, they are performing exactly as the main place. Like it's not outperforming heavily. Like why would you expect for this thing to continue to perform nicely as well? Well, mainly because we're still in the risk off environment. Once we are in the risk on, I would expect more liquidity coming to Alpha as well, to be honest with you. I do think that these things should be doing quite well and quite nice because as mentioned, the goal in this market is to front run people. Yes, you are taking more risks on, but you are taking as, as in life, you are taking more risks on in expectation to make more profits. So in some cases, unfortunately, your risks are playing out and you have to, to fire 50 people over the course of nine months, right? It's, it happens from time to time. In some cases, your risk does not play out and you actually make a bunch of profit and you are facing with a different issue. You have to hire 50 people in nine months, right? in order to just fire a bunch of them right after. So this is the situation out there that I'm seeing. And I do think that better place, they will eventually show certain numbers moving further into the risk on environment. At the same time, with better place, you always have issue of ceilings. So they can't often move up too much because they kind of like the market cap potential is sealed by the larger token, right? So this is the issue. Well, at the same time, you're kind of getting this safety as, as, as you can get in the crypto market, right? Next thing I like is also the larger market cap. And what's interesting, we're seeing exactly the same charts out there. So this is XD. I think I was sharing it. I definitely was sharing it in private Discord several times. I, I was even sharing it at these bottoms, right? I think I actually had some, but fortunately I sold some. So we'll see exactly the same chart, exactly the same. Like how well this, this pattern is playing out is just crazy to me. What's happening here is that people who bought right here on the bottoms, they're selling some of the supply probably to the risk, probably expecting that BTC will turn down from here and nothing will be happening with the market moving further. I would say that they are wrong at this stage. And I would say that they will be looking back into this thing and wishing they would held the supplies that they were able to acquire. Because I would say the only reason to sell here is obviously if you're back holding from these levels, right? Or if you bought at the bottoms and you're in profits. But this is like typical resistance level th that you have on most of the of the projects out there, right? And I would say that after this resistance level, you don't have much. You will probably just go higher. You'll probably just go into price discovery without any w resistance out there whatsoever, right? So this is a very, very interesting thing. XD is a meme token based on this Emma girl. Uh, she has like 100k followers on Twitter. So to be honest, I do see this as ultimate cuckold play for the risk on an environment, right? So Giga is your cuckold play for the risk off environment because you have a guy leading you. Um, and as a cuckold, you need someone to lead you. The, the same way you pretty much need someone to fuck your wife, right? So, <laughs> so this thing, I do think it should be in millions, in hundreds of millions in the big mania, because what will happen in hundreds of millions, all the geeks, all the cuckolds, they will become rich cuckolds. And they will be just throwing money on this thing and it will be just fine. It will be just right. Like this is your ultimate play. It's like there is a very, very small amount of plays out there that are kind of like eternal, right? So you, you can put money on them anyway. And uh, Solana Digens, they will eventually come to you because they are seeing your play to pack the profits, right? It's some for longer term, which kind of play is playing out nicely for the list of Murad because some coins there, they definitely might be viewed at these coins that, that you will be able to pack the profits out there for longer term. Unfortunately, I do think that some of them will eventually go to zero and they, they won't have the longevity. But this thing, I would say that actually might have this type of longer term view, right? Because imagine you are a Solana meme coin trader, you can be easily packing your profits in this thing, right? And your bet here is that in the risk on environment, in the crazy environment of the cycle of the market, 
this thing will just become very very popular this person and there will be a bunch of retail who will be entering and they will be buying the coin of this girl as well she's dogs like she has a bunch of followers of on instagram she's active she's active on twitter so it's kind of the best of the two worlds but coin like this will be becoming will be behaving like the best during really like risk on environments on the market so this is something i pretty much just wanted to share comma it's also not like low market cap play at this stage at the same time liquidity is only 400k so it's quite easy to push it further i would expect for politify method to search up from here right well essentially with the whole surge up on the marketplace the main objection you might have is that politify short term and people understand that they still would have to dump on other people as well. And what we are essentially betting on here, because and what we are essentially betting on here, because we all need to understand very, very clearly what we are betting on. We are betting that greed of the people and marketing budgets, billions of dollars that would be spent into elections, it will be larger, it will be higher than this thought of the market participants well i will still have to dump these things so i probably should not buy and overall if this thing will be strong enough this thought it will actually serve as fuel because it will create like a large fomo there is definitely a thought happening on the marketplace currently stopping people from buying into politify stuff because they're thinking that man i would i probably have to hold I would, um, i'm sorry i will probably have to dump and i don't know when to dump and um i don't know so it's something that's stopping this flow of liquidity into this category on me market right it's something that's stopping this flow of liquidity and when you usually have things like this once this once this gate is unleashed all this liquidity based on fomo is eventually entering the assets and then just going up like crazy i don't unfortunately think that harris on ethereum we will do we will not do so well because essentially statistically and historically democrats related meme coins they are usually doing better on solana for some reason right maybe solana is not that picky and if whales they, they, they love trump they love to buy things um, around trump there is also this low cap whilst coin play, right? So this is a potential prime minister for, for Democrats. And uh, I do like that it has reaction from the market in the recent pump as well. Very degen out there. It went up to half a million dollars market cap on the uh, debates, right? But probably this person will continue to show up moving further into the election cycle, right? And you might actually want to bet on it as well. Last but not least, I would like to check out Wawa Cat. I honestly see this as the better play to F walk at this stage because I actually was checking out different better plays to F walk, and this thing is just uh, behaving the best. And also, Mitch is holding this thing 130k words off at this stage. I was sharing uh, the bottom entry in, in the private Discord as well. You can see the, exactly the same chart playing out right here. You can see it, right? The only reason is that we already faced the resistance. We already went up to the liquidity right here. Look at this, guys, look at this. We went up, we had small correction again in the resistance and we are higher. This is the pattern that will be playing out on all of the meme coins that I shared with you today before. This is something that will be playing out. This thing will continue because the market will continue to surge up as well. Right now we have the main resistance all time high points. We corrected from there with the further continuation from the market. It will continue to surge up as well. This is exactly something that is happening and will continue to happen on other meme coins and the memes I shared. I am not a proponent of the view of the market that, oh, uh, this cycle only specific things will pump and nothing else will be pumping. It might be essentially connected to the, to the altcoins. With meme coins, I do think the situation is a bit different because I do think that the main reason why certain alts won't be pumping is because they're old. They're old coins, they're not altcoins, right? With meme coins, vast majority of meme coins, except like maybe three or five right they are coins of this cycle even the ones that appeared in the bear market like bobo like pepe they are the coins of this cycle everything should be pumping because percentage of liquidity in meme coins currently is very very low at this stage i honestly like murad from the point of view from the work that he's doing that he's actively sharing the thesis that meme coins are better than altcoins and they have more utility than altcoins and and things like that so market still heavily if you are in this bubble you might think that oh everyone is on meme coins yeah meme coins going up like the thesis is this too is to accept it probably it's not go up nah -uh. 
it's wrong. More than 90% of, I do think that like meme coin dominance currently is less than 10% at this stage, which means that of, out of all capitalization, out of all capital on a crypto market, less than 10% of this capital is on is in meme coins at this stage. It will survive, it will go up heavily, will go up heavily. The worst thing that you can do is lose positions in meme coins that have higher chance of going up from here. Unfortunately, you are looking at the person who did that, who lost a bunch of positions in meme coins in the recent chop, right? I was revenge trading, I was losing money on leverage for some reason, like some stupid shit, right? Well, maybe it will be right. Maybe it will be just like a learning curve, so I won't be doing that once I would be operating way larger portfolio that I'm operating currently, right? So this is the situation right here. I'm not buying the thesis that only certain things will go up. I do think everything will go up. And the goal of yours is not be buying into charts like this, right? Because they are at a resistance. Like once we break through, you might want to enter here because you would be a bit more confident. Maybe we'll go lower from here if the market will go lower. I don't think so. Maybe your goal is to buy coins here at these bottoms of this chart or here at the bottoms of all the handle. This is what you should be doing currently. Everything will be printing this exact chart because saying that only specific coins will go up, none of others will go up, only cold coins will go up is betting against human greed. I don't know about you. I'm not fucking betting against human greed. I think this is the most stupid fucking bet you can only make in this market. I'm not betting against human greed. And the the example here is, is, is very, very simple, right? Someone who made a bunch of access on a coin, they would mo most likely at certain stage, maybe not at the tops, maybe on the correction, they would be selling and they will re be repositioning because they would want to multiply or they would want to make the money back because at the top they had a certain amount of money and right now we're already correcting right here. Do not fucking bet against human greed. This is the worst bet you can only make in the markets, right? You should only be betting only on greed and on fear, right? So this is all that I have for today. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay healthy and rich. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Just in one month, in two months, in three months from now, sit there and think, man, wh why did I sell? <laughs> if I only would, would hold. <laughs> Why did I sell? Right?